Hello everyone, Scumman here with a review of Sunshine Shuffle. This is a game that is, quote, play cards with a group of adorable animal friends who robbed the largest bank on the eastern seaboard 12 years ago and are willing to let you decorate their boat in return for not being executed by the Mafia. What does that mean? Let's board the SS Sunshine and find out. This is a game of Texas Hold'em with a bit of story behind it. A story that is frankly hard to follow. But before we get to the story, we have to fill out our name. A name that you have to click on each letter. This game is clearly made for the Switch, with a PC port as a second thought. It's not a big negative, but it's still annoying. Strange Scaffold, who made this game, has taken his love of low-poly 3D close-ups a bit too far. By which I mean instead of doing close-ups on characters who are doing story-related talking, they have programmed it to do close-ups at random times on random players when it comes to the card game itself, making it hard to follow what is important and what is just talk about the game. Now how about the game itself? As I said, it is a game about Texas Hold'em Poker. Again. The game's hyperfixation on giving close-ups on reaction shots of NPCs calling, raising, or folding really feels like it slows the game down. Here, let me show you what a hand looks like without me talking at all. Yeah, that's pretty long when you compare it to other Texas Hold'em games. On top of the slowness of play, you are limited by how you play your game. You can only call, fold, or raise a fixed amount. You have no freedom of how much you want to raise it, which is frankly quite annoying. Now I've been pretty negative in this review, but there is one thing I must say that I loved and made my little ska-loving heart very gleeful, and that is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is a ska soundtrack written by the great Jer of Ska Tune Network and R.J. Lake. 
And if you know me, you know I love Ska. It's all original works for this game, which is amazing. I love when new Ska is made, but there's a slight downside to it. There's only six songs in the soundtrack, which won't last long with considering how long each hand takes. And this brings me to my final point about this review, and that is the decorations. As you can see here, there is a fair amount of decorations that are offered in the game. But you have to listen to this. Every time you want to make a choice. And it really makes me not want to go to the decoration screen. And, and they really don't add much to the game. And now it's time for my final review. All in all, this game is a decent game. It's not a good game. It's, it's a solid attempt. It leaves a lot to be desired. And honestly, I don't recommend it. Even for the fantastic Scott Tunes soundtrack. But, if this is something that you do like, and you want to check it out, it is going to be out on the PC and Switch on May 23rd. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.